Bottom line is he has an enlarged heart. Now at five, George Floyd died due to a sudden heart issue, not police restrained. At least that's what an expert medical witness testified today in defense of Derek Chauvin. The defense called its own medical expert today as it tries to refute multiple prosecution witnesses who blame Chauvin's actions for George Floyd's death. CBS 4's Elise Preston has the latest from today's court hearing. A retired forensic pathologist took the stand in the Derek Chauvin murder trial and disagreed with George Floyd's official cause of death. Mr. Floyd died of a cardiac arrhythmia due to hypertensive atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease during the restraint. Dr. David Fowler listed the drugs in Floyd's system as well as potential carbon monoxide poisoning from the vehicle exhaust as contributing factors. He was also questioned about how much pressure Chauvin's knee put on Floyd's body. Is it your opinion that Mr. Chauvin's knee in any way impacted the structures of Mr. Floyd's neck? No, it did not. None of the vital structures. The defense needs just one juror to doubt multiple prosecution witnesses who blame Floyd's death on low oxygen levels caused by how the former Minneapolis police officer held him down. Also Wednesday, Maurice Hall, who was in the car with Floyd before the arrest, told the judge he would invoke his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination if called to testify. I'm fearful of criminal charges going forward. His lawyer says any questions about the incident puts him in legal jeopardy. If Mr. Hall puts himself in that car, he exposes himself to constructive possession charges of the drugs that were found in that car. The day began with a defense motion to acquit Chauvin, claiming prosecutors did not prove its case. The judge denied it. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. The judge said he expects closing arguments to begin next week.